This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we are going over operating system detection in Nmap. Now, this is really, really cool. Nmap has the power to tell you what operating system and services a remote target is running by decoding the d data that a system responds with after Nmap sends out a, some kind of probe. This process is called TCP IP fingerprinting. Now let's go ahead and start with the simplest of these, which is TAC-O. For this example, I would type in, there we go, after I log into my computer, I would type in sudo, because this is a root command, TAC capital O after Nmap, and then whatever my target is. So for this example, I'm going to use 10.73.31.6. Oops, I spelled that wrong. and nap. There we go. All right, when the target is scanned, Nmap is going to tell you what operating system it's running. Now, if you want to, you can also add tag V, which is for verbose, to this command to show you more information that Nmap acquires. So in this example, if I go down to the bottom, it gives me the MAC address of my target, device type, and what operating system and service it is running. So I can see that it's running Linux 2.4. X. That's pretty cool. Now, sometimes Nmap isn't able to determine what operating system the target is using. So for my usual example, where I use .145, and I run the same command, there we go. You'll see up at the top, it says no exact operating system match for host. If you know what operating system is running on it, go to nmap.org slash submit. So there's a few minor details for this. So you can submit the output to the Nmap fingerprint and correction page on their website, and there's a link for that down below if this happens and you just happen to know what operating system it's actually running. This will actually help Nmap become better and better over time as soon as they bring out you know, new versions of Nmap. As thousands and thousands of operating systems exist and not each and every one is found in the Nmap uh, guide. Now, if you want to use Nmap to just guess what a target is running, you can also do that as well if you want to you know, just play around with it. So for the usual example that I use, the 10.73.31.145, I would type in Nmap, tap capital O, and then tac tac or dash dash os scan dash guess and whatever my target is so if i use the same one whoops got to add sudo to it it's going to run this command so when you run this command it's going to show you its guesses up at the top so up here it'll say aggressive operating system guesses most likely it's running linux 2.6.17 95% and it'll go down with percentages as it shows you all the different guesses that it has and of course if you do know that example you can always upload that to the nmap website too now for some reason you can also use this one that's dash dash fuzzy instead of the dash dash os scan dash guess if you want. Why they choose fuzzy, I have no clue, but you can use that option if you want to. Now I have a couple more operating system detection options to check out, but let's go ahead and take a quick break for our sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. It can type scripts into a computer crazy, crazy fast, like this week's favorite of mine from 3699N in the forums, again, who has an awesome payload that you can check out. So this one is called the Porn Prank. Yeah, I just said porn. It'll create a folder on the user's desktop called Porn and it'll fill it with troll faces. Because why not go ahead and prank all your coworkers and put porn folders on their desktop? I'm totally gonna do that to Darren, don't tell him. Now we couldn't do this show without your support, so we'd like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own signed hack tip sticker. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Again, we couldn't do it without you. We're back and it's time for more 
operating system detection options. Let's go ahead and start out with this first one for service versions. For this example, I'd type in nmap, TAC S capital V, and then my target. And it'll go ahead and run that command. So this one runs a little bit slow, but it's going to tell you what service version the target is running. If you find that you aren't getting the output that you thought you would, you can always make this verbose. So for this example, I would use kind of the same thing, but after SV, I would type in tac tac and then version trace. Bam, and then hit enter. Now this one is definitely a lot longer, but it's going to give you all sorts of extra ex information to show you what kind of versions that you are running. Now if I scroll back to the top, right there, we see over here after service, it says I'm running version Samba SMBD 3X work group titled work group. Very, very cool. So it definitely works. Now, lastly, my very last command for today is called the RPC scan or remote procedure call, which uses the TAC S capital R option. This displays information about services called RPCs, which are commonly used in Linux systems for the network file system service. Oftentimes this RPC service is going to be used to make a client and a server function and communicate correctly to each other. So all the data gets transmitted properly. So for this example, I would type Type in something like nmap and then tac sr 10.73 and then we'll target and then press enter. Now here in the Hack5 Studio, we don't really have anything running RPCs, so we can't show you the exact output. But if you were running anything with RPCs running on their services, you would see it right underneath the name of the port, state, and service. And it'll give you a little bit of information about what number RPC it is running. Now, that's about it for port scanning. What would you like to see next about Nmap? I've been having a lot of fun with it, so let me know. Send me a comment below or email us at tips at hack5 Org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, over at hak5.org for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.